guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I have some units by Main Concept Red Carpet. It's one of their lace front wigs. This one is called RCP787 Chloe and I'm wearing her in the color SR4 slash cream blonde. So you get four up at the roots and you get like a cream blonde. It comes out into a pretty blonde. I think it's perfect because it's not too light. And then you get the dark roots so that's always a little bit more natural. Um, but yeah. If you want to see how I got this look and if you want to hear all the specs on this unit, just keep watching. So straight out the box, this is what it looks like and you guys can tell that I'm still wearing the lace on it. It still has a lace on it. I didn't finger comb it or anything as yet. And I would say it looks a bit, um, it has a lot of shine to it, I would say. Not too shiny because of the color so you don't see it like too much but it has some luster to it. So I used to do this before, I used to cut the lace while it's on my head before and then I stopped but I'm just going to do it again. So guys, when you're cutting the lace, if you're going to cut it while it's on your head, just be careful to not cut your hairline, your natural hairline, because that could be really messed up, so just be very careful. Um, when you get it, some of them, some of the wigs, they don't need tweezing, some of them may need a little bit of tweaking. I'm going to just tweeze this a tiny bit, not even so much, it could do it a good bit of tweezing, especially like up here in between, but um, I'm not going to tweeze it that much, I'm just going to tweeze a tiny bit off of it. Okay, so I just um, decided to tweeze it a little bit. I tweezed it a little bit at the front. Well, I didn't really use the tweezers. I used my hands, which I, th I think was a lot more easier. Um, the lace is not a Swiss lace either. It's like, it's, one of, it's not a hard plastic lace, but it has a little bit of texture to it. So it's strong enough to withstand some tweezing. So, But I did use my fingers and I just um, pulled some hairs. And you can tell the difference. You can see the difference. I pulled a little bit here, I didn't do the back of it and you can tell the difference but I'm just going to leave it like that, I'm going to add some powder to it. I use um, the Makeup Forever Pro Finish is a um, foundation powder in the color Saffron, Neutral Saffron. So I just use that and I add some powder to the part. I tried to add some baby hairs I just used this and cut down a little bit at the front right here um, if you want you can add more like throughout the whole hairline but I didn't want to do that because most likely the hair is gonna be down so it's not really gonna show regardless so I just used some mousse and try to like slick it down a little bit I finger combed it like you saw and I did use this comb as well to comb it out like the white side to comb it out so yeah, this is all I used and just tried to style it a little bit. If you guys like how this look, let me know in the comment section down below. If you think that it needs cutting down a little bit more or probably flat ironing, you can let me know as well. This is what the stock card looks like right here. And it is made out of Futura fiber, so you can always add heat to it. It doesn't say up to how much, but you can always add heat to this. I normally go for 280. I don't go more than 280, so it's really up to you. I would say don't go too high because you may burn it out. So yeah. <laughs> so um, 
Yes, guys, I'll make sure to leave a list of the colors that they come in in the description box so you can check it out. I'll leave a link to the website. I didn't experience any shedding. I think the only um, few strands that I got was from me tweezing the part a little bit. I think that's all the strands that I got and from me cutting cutting a little bit, you know, at the front. But that's it. It feels really good. Um, I would say it has like a light yaki texture. It doesn't feel like it's going to tangle easy. I didn't have any snags really or any tangling while you know styling it or finger combing it but anyway um or oh, the cap the cap is about medium in size i would say it's very comfortable however and i think it can definitely stretch to fit a larger head size it comes with two combs up front on either side of the parting space one at the back and the adjustable straps and you have like a basic cap construction but anyway guys if i forgot to mention anything leave me a question in the comment section down below i'll be sure to answer it as soon as possible don't forget to like and subscribe follow us on instagram at wake types and i'll see you soon bye bye